Sessions on Mix. Anne-Marie, you are feeling a bit weary as you call. Yeah, it's been a long day. Oh, you haven't been stressing out about Joe, have you? No, uh, I'm not stressing about him, but I'm thinking about him. And uh, I just want you to play a really nice song and have some notes and I'm thinking all the right things about him. And, uh, do you and I really hope to see him soon. Do you ever hear news of Joe through a third party? I don't know. I'd love to hear from him personally. <laughs> I understand that, but I, I wondered if you ever heard how he's doing, what he's doing, and where no. he is. No? Nothing. No. So, how, no. so you've had to endure the silence for years. Well, I haven't heard, I spoke to him in June, May or June, and when I went to the, right before I went to the United States. Ah, uh, okay. And it wasn't a very long conversation, but, uh, right. no, I, I sent him texts every now and then just okay. to let him know that he's, he's right there with me, and, uh, yeah, I'm just wait, waiting, but, uh, it's it, not very easy. Has he ever forgiven you for the decision you made that ended it all between you two? Obviously, the circumstances were such that you had to, but has he forgiven you for that? I think it wasn't even a matter of forgiving. I think he just, he just understood. Uh-huh, okay. But, uh, but I think he was hurt by the whole situation. So. Mm, indeed. And just like now, I, just, I think we're both hurting, you know? We yeah. want to be together. And yeah. Yeah. And the circumstances have not come. Not really conducive to it. Mm. All right, well, at least we can bring you two together over a song on this show. Okay, we'll do that. We'll send your special song out to Joe. And was there any last thing you needed to say to him? That I love him and uh, that I hope to see him very soon. Yeah.